Welcome to another awesome paintjob.com tutorial. Alright guys, here's a quick and dirty face tutorial that I wanted to show. You only need five colors for this and I am confident that all you guys watching can get this done. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. First we'd base coat the face using dwarf skin until the whole area is uniform. Next, we mix a basic wash using Lich Purple, and we're just going to apply this to all the, the detailed areas, uh, specifically for the shadows, so we'll hit most of the uh, lower part of the face, eye sockets, and around the uh, edge of the helmet where the skin and the side ear pieces meet, and all the way around the back. Now we're going to rebase coat again using dwarf flesh and we're going to hit everything leaving the purple in the deepest recesses and details that you want to uh, exploit. Now we work in the first highlight using Elf Flesh and you want to concentrate on what the light's hitting directly, what, where his head is tilted toward, you want to work it up in that direction and don't cover up all the base coating that you did. I mean if it's a broad area try to leave at least 50% of what you painted before still showing through so that way you get that nice transition with skin and um, you can take a little bit more time thin your paints down because as you know skin doesn't really have sharp color changes everything's pretty diffuse so keep that in mind when you're practicing your skin tones then we work into doing the second highlight using bleach bone and I use this actually for the teeth and doing basically the um, the glints on the skin whereas uh, I see people that use white, but I don't believe that Space Marines use, you know, tooth whitening trays or, you know, anything like that. So I try to keep everything pretty, pretty um, natural. And I don't do the eyes because every time I see eyes get done on models, every they look like they're on drugs, eyes all dilated and crazy. Which, you know, some Space Marine guys will say, yeah, that's that's a Space Marine, but uh, I just leave them alone. <laughs> so. We uh, work the top of the head, start to bring out some of the bone uh, structure in the face, uh, do some of the highlights on the scars to bring them out, and uh, then the skin is pretty much done as far as a quick job goes. Now we get into the stubble effect, and this I learned from uh, reading things and trying it out, and what I found that works the best is taking the final highlight color and mixing it with a particular color, depending on what uh, color your guy's hair would be if it was longer. If he has black hair, you mix it with Codex Gray. If he has brown hair, you would mix the final highlight with um, 
a scorched brown. If he has blonde hair, you'd use a lighter brown. And the key thing is to have your paints thin and stipple the stuff on little by little using, you know, whatever brush uh, you have more control with. And you want it to be kind of translucent and you don't want to have paint lines. You, want, you don't want to draw the hairline out with one paint stroke because it's going to look like it's painted on. If you use thin paints and you stipple the stuff on, it'll look a little bit more natural. So, you guys have fun with it and I'll see you in the next tutorial.